A surprising turn of events, CD Projekt Red has announced a brand new Witcher game that will be built entirely in Unreal 5 instead of the company's internal Red engine that the team used for the previous Witcher games. The Polish studio will collaborate with Epic's engineers to help make Unreal Engine 5 the best engine it can be for open world games, with experience and knowledge from the development process informing the evolution of Unreal 5 for future projects. Not much else is known about the game right now, but we're very excited nonetheless. You know what I've always said about Studio Wildcard's sequel to the popular survival sandbox Ark? It's that it's all about family. And Ark 2, which is in development right now, is certainly taking that to heart. Ark 2 is utilizing Unreal 5 for its eventual and exclusive release on Xbox Series X and S. The multiplayer game will star Fast and Furious actor Vin Diesel as the hero Santiago, with the Hollywood actor pulling a double shift as an executive producer on the game as well. It's just a shame they couldn't pull in Dwayne Turok Johnson as well. Ashes of Creation developer Intrepid Studios confirmed a few months ago that it had migrated the game from Unreal 4 to Unreal 5. It's still early days for a project that is still in its alpha phase, but the studio has been incredibly transparent with fans of the upcoming game as to why and how they're making the change to Unreal 5, and the impact it will have on the game when it eventually It'll still launches. be a while before a new game in the Gears of War series is properly unveiled, but for now, developer The Coalition appears to have a firm grip on using Unreal 5 to create the title. During a presentation at GDC 2021, the Coalition revealed its first technical demo, Alpha Point, using the latest tools in Unreal Engine 5, which included application of the Lumen lighting system and Nanite, the engine's virtualized geometry system. In addition to that, the studio also showed off a character render demo within Unreal Engine 5 that was packed with all manner of small details. But after the cliffhanger at the end of Gears 5, we really hope we don't have to wait too Revealed long. back in 2020, Black Myth Wukong is easily one of the most exciting adaptations of the classic Journey to the West novel since Enslaved. Brimming with action and adventure, Unreal 5 has been used to deliver intense boss battles and impressive particle effects. The Dark Souls-inspired game from developer Game Science doesn't have a confirmed release date yet, but everything they've released so far is looking pretty, pretty While good. While there wasn't much in the way of concrete details when Dragon Quest XII The Flames of Fate was announced in 2021, Square Enix did confirm that the next chapter in the beloved long-running RPG series would be shaking up the franchise. With Unreal 5 powering a darker tale of swords and sorcery, Dragon Quest XII series creator Yuji Horii hinted at darker themes, more open-ended design, and impactful decisions that the player will be forced Not to make. Not much is known about the new Tomb Raider game other than it's being made by Crystal Dynamics and it will run on Unreal Engine 5. Work on the new Tomb Raider has only just started, according to the developer during Epic's State of Unreal briefing, after which they added, Our goal is to push the envelope of fidelity and to deliver the high-quality cinematic action-adventure experience that fans deserve from both Crystal Dynamics and the While Unreal 5 is expected to be capable of creating epic and detailed worlds for games, the technology is also being used for titles with a cozier appeal. Take Dreamhouse, for example, a house construction simulator coming to PC and console in the future. Using Unreal 5, you'll be able to build sturdy structures, set up comfortable living spaces, and eventually call it a day on next-gen beds. Unreal 5 is more than capable of creating impressive particle effects and lifelike human characters, but a thread count you can see on gaming linen? That's what really counts. You can also explore your creations in VR if you really want to get that Grand Designs experience. Echoes of the End is described as a single-player RPG from Icelandic developer Mirka Games and takes place in a world of myth and legend. As the hero Rin, it'll be up to you to guide the warrior through large-scale battles in a world that has been described as a blend of cinematic scope and rich narrative themes, all realized with Unreal 5 You technology. might not have heard of this hidden gem. Now, who am I kidding? It's one of the biggest games in the world. Epic's signature game Fortnite made a shift to Unreal Engine 5 with the start of Chapter 3 back in December 2021. While the changes seen so far look like modest upgrades, expect the overall visual fidelity to steadily increase as time goes on as Epic improves on its Unreal 5 technology. Small changes eventually add up to something big, and Fortnite will likely continue to be a showcase for the versatility of Epic Currently in development at Netmarble, very little is known about this mobile Game of Thrones adaptation, other than its usage of Unreal 5 for development. 
Netmarble has a history of producing solid adaptations of licensed properties, including Marvel, for mobile devices, and the studio revealed that it planned to deliver console-level graphics while telling an original story in the fantasy world created by author George R. R. Martin. Let's hope the game ends better. With a focus on mystery, exploration, and stomach-churning monster designs, Team Clout's Ill is using Unreal 5 to create a disturbing and spooky atmosphere. The devil is in the details, and while not much else is known about this survival horror game, early previews indicate that Epic's technology is being used to create a uniquely a terrifying To the Legend of Mir series, Korean developer We Made Entertainment is making use of Epic's biggest Unreal 5 technologies, MetaHuman creator Lumen and Nanite, to craft this MMORPG. Platforms and a release window have yet to be announced, but like Mir 4, you can expect NFT implementation that allows for your game character to be turned into a token for selling and trading. If that's coming okay. to PC and Xbox Series X and S at some point in the future, hopefully sooner rather than later, Arcane's Redfall is an action adventure that uses Unreal 5 to craft a vampire hunting experience. Playable in solo or co-op modes, details and gameplay footage has been hard to come by since Redfall was announced at Microsoft's E3 2021 showcase. If a recent leak turns out to be genuine though, expect this game to use Epic software to create a vibrant environment with loot shooter mechanics. Developer Ninja Theory has occasionally released some development information since Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 was confirmed to be in development, and with Unreal 5 powering the sequel to the original Hellblade game, it's shaping up to look like a visual showcase for the technology. The first gameplay trailer was shown off at last year's Game Awards, while development has used quite a few strange techniques to get the game looking. Another Just horror game utilizing Unreal 5, Quantum Error uses the technology to create stylish graphics and a terrifying atmosphere. It's the lighting that really sells the nightmarish visuals though, and with Unreal 5 capable of creating realistic and spooky illumination, Quantum Error's handle on horror looks immersive. The potential of Unreal 5 developed by Epic, The Matrix Awakens is a stunning showcase of playable action and exploration. It's available to try out now on PC, Xbox Series X and S, and PS5, and offers not only a brief highway chase scene that looks like it was ripped straight out of The Matrix Reloaded, but also a detailed breakdown of the various technologies within Unreal 5. Unreal 5 and how they're used to create photorealistic environments. Yes. Details on the next installment are vague, but with Unreal 5's ability to create realistic textures and unsettling environments, the end result could be a detailed dip into horror from a studio that has earned a reputation for being a master. Described as a unique time travel MMORPG from developer Etlock Studios, development on the game has been rocky as of late due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. A new pre-alpha session was held recently, and if you'd like to see how Unreal 5 is shaping the visual development of this ambitious game, you can check out an official teaser for Inter to the Echo that showcases by StarCraft II production director Tim Morton and WarCraft 3, the Frozen Throne lead campaign designer Tim Campbell. Frost Giant's first game has been teased as a dream project that won't simply be a throwback to classic real-time strategy. The studio has kept details under wraps for its in-development game, but it has let slip that it'll be developing the RTS on Unreal 5 and that it's designed to be more approachable for newcomers to the genre. Midnight Society is a new studio featuring the talent of a number of famous faces, including Dr. Disrespect and Call of Duty's Robert Bowling. Their mission statement is to put the audience first when creating, quote, the most rewarding gaming experience as possible, and their new game, currently titled Project Moon, will be using Unreal Engine 5 to hopefully do all Mortal that. Mortal Online 2 recently launched into beta after being in Steam Early Access. It's a huge fantasy first-person MMORPG that lets you explore a huge sandbox, as well as shape your character's build the way you want it to be. The game studio was recently awarded an epic mega grant, and will be transferring the game eventually from Unreal 4 to 5. Stalker 2 has been a long-awaited sequel, but obviously with the Russian invasion of Ukraine still ongoing, plans to release the title later this year have obviously been upended, as developer GSC Game World looks to find safety and shelter for its staff. What we know about the game so far is that it's using Unreal 5 to create a uniquely unsettling atmosphere. One that's So there you have it, every Unreal Engine 5 game that we know of so far. We can't wait to see how these games end up looking and playing, and let me know in the comments which one you're most looking forward to. For me, it definitely has to be another Witcher.